cracker of a day. Ooh. No one here, but who's that? Hello, Covey. <laughs> well fed little one too. Yeah, let's just go over into their new break. They're happy, they're happy. Last one coming through. And we have got one cow carving down there and one cow carved. So uh, that one looks like she's just started carving. Hey, there's a calf in there too. Right, so someone else had a calf. Oh, it's nothing to worry about at the moment. We'll go and do some cause mag and we'll have a look through to see if we can find the other girl that has, that has calved. But yeah, I've got my three calved cows. There were two little calvies down there, not very old. Probably leave them. That cow there, I believe she has calved, but we'll get Dad to check her anyway. Yeah, yeah, you haven't calved, you're just trying to steal the calf. But that's all right. Hey, little one. Hello. Another little girl, eh? Yes, you are. Another little girl. All right, we're going to have a quick look around, make sure things are going right. No one else has calved to check. We'll have a look. Cows are all shifted. Happy hands over there. I put up, lift the reel up, so that if I do, there are three cows here that have those three little calvies. I'm not too sure about the jersey over there. I'll have to get the boss on that just to check. But yeah, we'll take these up. Any mums that don't follow, we'll come back down and get with the motorbike. But yeah, we'll keep going. We'll head out the gate. There we go. We've got all three cows now. We shall go and take them up the front, put them with their little carvey, and uh, chuck them in the front paddock. Everything's going well. Just checking the mob again. Can't look like they're going to carve. Time soon again. Which is good. So we've now got let's have a look at the book. Seven. We've now got two, four, six, seven cows in with five have replacements so far. 225 is calved, we don't know what her calf is, and 207 had a nice Frisian bull that will be bobbing. Good. May rear it, we'll see how we go. Australia's here. Thank you, Blair. <laughs> they look heavy. Here we go. Another reel set up. This is for the cows for tomorrow. They're coming down the back of our what we call back lane. It's our empty heifers from last year. Our carryovers, I should say. Along with our Hereford beefies. Well, six Hereford beefies. Some 
grind. These bulls are going to get shifted to a little bit of higher ground because there's meant to be a bit of a storm coming through. Big chance of rain tonight, right through till tomorrow night. So, it's just going to get the bulls. Come on, boo! Go, boo! Come on, come on, come on! Humbering things. Go that way. That's the way. Come on, good boys. That's the way. Good boys. Oh, got a couple of swans back. A lot of birds too. Change of plan. Gonna leave them in the rain. A bit of grass to eat here along the edges. They'll be happy there. And they have got the pack that they'll pose you on to. There's the cause mag spreader washed. Dad shot up up to the runoff to go and help Granda get the uh, heifers ready and ready to go. I'm here so that when they arrive, I can lock them in the yard here. And um, I'm also going to put the cause mag spreader out of the way and go and get some cafeterias, which we feed our little calvies with, and get them prepped for feeding the calves because Dad's made the uh, executive decision. The calves, some of the calves out there aren't being fed by their mothers, respective mothers. So we're taking the calves out and put them in the pen. We'll start feeding them in the calf pens. Well, see how it is. Yeah, we we've got our two 10 feeders, one five feeder and a 15 feeder. We've got a little meal feeder on the back for the first pen. Once we get some more calves, I'll grab another meal feeder, give them a wash. So I'll just give these a quick wash with a bit of hot water and a rinse, cold, and then we'll be ready. Ready to feed some little carvies tonight. Oh, I hear a truck here, and I think the heifers are home. Well, the first load of two, uh, maybe, yeah, first load of two or three, not sure, but yeah, a little fantail. Happy guys. Yep, so we'll just see how they come off, they're all right. And then we've got to shoot up the runoff and go pick up two calves because two of the heifers have calved. So we'll leave these girls in the yard and then we'll shoot up the runoff and go and uh, up a car. Yep, to head and home. Right over there, Granddad. Granddad already got seven out, did he? Oh, oh, Granddad's on to it. Granddad's on to it. up, you go. Push, push. Go on. Yeah, one stop and everything. Typical. Go on, go on. They're gone, they're gone. Shhh. Shhh. Headle off with the next load. We're gonna go and get some carvies. So two heifers here with their little carvies. Dad's taking the first calf up on the motorbike. He'll shoot back and probably come pick up this one before we get him out the gate. Okay. There we go, both up here. Both cows and their two calves. Take him home and chuck the two calves in the pen and Put these two heifers with the uh, with the milking cows now to be milking cows. The man himself, hey granddad! Oh yeah, off miles. Off miles, losing about a hundred cattle over two days. You only got one mob now. Yeah, all loaded up. Now he's got to load up our two little carvies and we'll meet the truck at the uh, at the farm. Goes. It's us fully unloaded. Two calves. Heifers there, they'll be going out into the paddock with the other calved cows and I'll let these heifers go because the other heifers are already nearly at their paddock. Alright, go on girls. Come on. Come on. 
Good girls. There's a couple of really close ones. Like she's really close. And as I've been told, heifers have a tendency of going up and down. When they're about to carve, they're either going to carve or not really. <laughs> All right, we'll set up for them to go under here now. Go. Good girls. I want you to go over that way. To their left. Don't go on the shed, please. Left. That way. No, not in the shed. Oh. Oh, you silly heifer. Right, I didn't just go on the right way now. Gave me a bit of a run around for a second then. Sweet. Okay, let's go lock these heifers away and check the cows. They're both in their happy ass. Nice and warm in there. Heifers are going in nicely into their paddock. First bunch of heifers went down, we let the last lot off the truck and sorted out those ones that we had to sort out, which were the carved ones. Now they're sorted, we're uh, just following these ones down, not going too fast. Don't want them to run, upset themselves, so get them settled on the farm and then in about, say, I think their plans on the next two to three weeks, you might put them with the cows. Just leave them in their own mob for now. Cows do like to steal their calves, especially some of the cows that either are about to calve or haven't calved yet. We'll go and steal the heifer's calves, which is uh, annoying to say the least. Oh, and then the cows, some of the cows actually stop themselves from calving. It's, it's all good. It's uh, nice on the farm, mate. These paddocks have grazed off. My dad was down the bush showed literally a week ago. And these paddocks here look good. Spray is working. Docks actually dying off in there. So is the chickweeds or seeding. And it's looking really good. We get to graze it in about a week's time or when this rain comes through. That's how we go. Just checking the cows. There's a calf there again, another one. Mum's there with her, 51. Which is good. There's another cow carving over the back. Otherwise, all looking good. Here you go. Cafeteria is all set up, ready for the season coming. Here we got one of these meal feeders, nice and cleaned up, ready to go. Oh, we're ready. Right. I think we'll go home for lunch now, Aaron, and we'll come down and come milk some cows. Alright, let's go. Shall we go get some carvies? Whoa! Whoa. Just loaded up from today from tonight onwards we're back into it morning and night oh we'll go get these cows that are over here let's go milk there's calves in the calf pen for the season there we go we got out of our two four six nine calves we have got Six keepers. Not bad going. Not bad going. Don't Spray the nables so they don't get infected nables. Okay. Helps them dry out. Kids, you got to get closer in there. Dallas, down, Dallas. Dallas, underneath, underneath. Belly button. Black and white. We've got the first row in, ready to milk. And one cow that prefers that side. How it is, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. Wakey, wakey. You're on. Oh, the pump on, I probably don't need that on. Don't need the cooler on? Okay. All right, she's ready. She's all set up. 
Oh, we need to well, go. First smoking of the season. There we go. Heifer, good. The other half is good too, very well behaved. Although you wouldn't want to move the cows you've got beside you because they can be quite grumpy. Sweet. Yeah, you'll get milk soon, Jill. Alright, ladies, we'll see you in the morning. What's happening here? There you go. See you in the morning. Right, the dog's looking very happy that we're back milking again. Looking very happy. Going good. So, uh, Dad got a brand new bike. Yep. This is an automatic, you're saying? An yep. automatic yep. Honda. What year is it? 2022. 2022, one of the newest automatics out. Oh, push the button. Push the button. It's already on, can you see? Push the start button. Oh. On a bike. On a bike. <laughs> yeah, you got it. This is meant to be an automatic, so. All right, Munchkin. Yeah. You're cold. It is chilly today. Yeah, changing gears itself. It is new, so it's got a little bit of changing to get used to. Sweet. Yeah, so Tess is going to do a good attempt of getting the, uh, feeding the calves. Me and Dad and Mackenzie, we're going down to check the uh, cows to make sure all's all right. And if it is, there are some calves down there. We'll be looking at taking the trailer down, or heifer calves, I should say. We'll be looking at taking the trailer down and picking them up. Right, let's go down the back. We're gonna have a look through them. There's a calf right down the back down there. We'll go have a look. Drag them away from the drain. Put them more in the center of the paddock. We're ready, we've got the calf trailer. Let's go get those two little calves. Got them up, got them both. The this cow here, her calf is still a bit young, still needs a feed, so we'll put her in the paddock up the front, behind uh, behind the clip tank. So that's the paddock this side of the hedge. The cows are on a paddock from here on the other side of the hedge, so that'll give her time to feed her calf and give her a good drink. Other cow. She'll, her calf will be put in the shed because her calf is full. That was the one by the drain, was the one that's going to go in the shed. It's a very full little carvey. Okay, well, I think that's going to be us for today. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Oh, cool. So, Dad said we'll leave them both with their calves. Don't have to milk them in the morning and make it. But better on the cow too, she gets to spend the night with a calf. Yeah man. The only reason why we took him out is because of that drain. Alright, dad's unloading the first calf. We're gonna take you over to your calf, girl. Mother and daughter reunited. And mother and son reunited.